everyone, I'm here with your weekly terrascope uh, for the week of April 30th to May 6th of 2018. Uh, we're still in the month of April, so I'm still using the Line Strider Tarot for um, the terrascope reading this week, as well as the oops, Mystical Wisdom Oracle. There you go. Um, and then uh, when we switch to May, I'll be switching to another deck, an Oracle deck, but stay tuned for which ones those are. Um, so yeah, let's get started. And as always, if you want your own reading, you can always check out the links below to my Etsy shop. So let's get started. All right. So we have for Aries, we have the Hanged Man. So Aries, this is a week where you need to not take action, but to step back and take a look at things from a fresh perspective. So it can be, you know, I know that Aries, you like to take action, you like to do something about things, but this isn't the week for that. This is the week to kind of step back. Um, the hangman too asks us to make a sacrifice of some kind that if we want to move forward with things, we might have to give up something. So you might want to take a look at what the universe is asking you to do in that area this week. But more than anything, it's asking you to step back, to not do anything, but to look at things from a brand new perspective. And it's okay to be in a state of waiting. It's okay to be in an in-between state between things. Sometimes we, th we, we think we have to rush from one thing to the other, and it's okay to take a break. It's okay to kind of rest before the next thing comes along. For Taurus, we have the Five of Swords. So Taurus, this is a week where you may feel like all your efforts are, you know, for naught. That things, you're doing things in vain, or um, you may be in a situation where someone's being very negative and they don't want to fix things. There's really nothing you can do about it. If somebody doesn't want to, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. If someone doesn't want to take action or to fix their situation, once you've given them the information, there's not really a lot left that you can do. So sometimes that means you have to walk away from people or you have to minimize your contact with them or that you have to minimize um, your efforts in a particular situation. So there's definitely a sense of loss when those things happen, but it's saying that this is a time to realize that, you know, maybe this is something you can't fix right now. For Gemini, we have the Knight of Swords. So unlike the last two signs, this is a week for Geminis to take action. Uh, this is a week where if there's something that you want to go for, it's saying go for it. Uh, take action. Don't jump into things recklessly. That's one of the dangers with Knight of Swords. But it is saying that you. this is a week where you can take charge and take action and move forward with things. It's also saying that you may have to come to the defense of someone or someone might defend, jump in and defend you. So don't be afraid to stand up for yourself or for others this week. For Cancer, we have the Fool. So a good start for you this week, Cancer. You can start new beginnings. You can do something new, take a risk, do something different. It is a week of new beginnings for you. And with Full Moon in Scorpio, um, the Moon is definitely in a sign that you're aligned with. So it is a good time for you to start you know, doing something different or um, to take a chance on something. So trust your instincts when it comes to this. For Leo, we have the Ten of Pentacles. So Leo, you're looking at what you're doing for the long haul. So you're looking at building up something for the future. So really look at um, when you're making decisions, what is the best for the long term future? So it's not so much about the immediate, it's about the long term. It also shows that you're handling um, the physical things in your life well, like money and health and your home, things like that. So there's a lot of focus on that area this week. For Virgo, we have the moon. So Virgo, you may be really affected by the full moon that's happening today on April uh, 29th. Um, the full moon in Scorpio um, tends to be a rather intense moon and you're definitely going to be feeling it. So it's saying that this is uh, for you as well, just like with Aries, not a really a good week to make some big decisions. This is more a week where you're going to have to slow down and really listen to your intuition. Um, you're going to have to really um, not take your mo feelings too seriously in that you might feel quite moody, like very upset at one point, or um, you might feel, you know, more angry at others or super happy or whatever. So there's a lot of up and down with moods and it's saying to wait for things to even out. So kind of wait till the new moon to make some any big decisions and at least don't make some any big decisions this week. But pay attention to your dreams for sure or any coincidences. Pay attention um, to those because they're trying to bring you some messages in your life. For Libra, we have the star. 
And I think you had this last week, if I'm remembering correctly, but Libra, this is a great week, um, you know, for moving forward with hope. There's definitely going to be some positive news coming your way this week. So there's definitely a feeling of, um, you know, optimism for the future. So if you have been feeling down, this is a great sign that things are turning around for you. It's a very optimistic week for you, Libra. For Scorpio, we have the King of Wands. So Scorpio, this is your week with the full moon uh, being in Scorpio. You are definitely in a position where you feel like you can take charge of things in your life. Um, you're in a position where you feel like you are in control and you're feeling more creative. You're feeling more um, like putting yourself out there, taking the lead, which you all don't always want to do. But this is a good week for asserting yourself, taking the lead, taking action, um, standing up for yourself. You're, you're in control this week, Scorpio. For Sagittarius, we have the Queen of Pentacles. So Sagittarius, it's going to be a good week for things like money and finances and the home, much like with Leo. You feel like you're really managing it well. You're finding a good balance between work and play. Um, also, you're in a mood to kind of nurture others. You're in a mood to kind of, you know, maybe host a party or cook for others. Um, this is definitely a nurturing week for you. For Capricorn, we have the Nine of Cups. Um, so Capricorn, a wish of yours may come true this week. This is definitely an optimistic card to get. Uh, this is the wish come true card, but there is something that is coming your way that is definitely going to make you feel like you're very blessed. Um, and look at all the things that you have in your life to be, um, to be happy about, to feel gratitude for. There are so many good things coming to you this week. For Aquarius, we have the Empress. So Aquarius, you're feeling very creative this week, uh, just like some of the other signs, like Scorpio with the King of Wands. You feel like there's a lot of abundance that you have to share with others. There's a lot of creative energy around you, uh, a lot of fertile energy. So if um, you know, you're looking at something like uh, you know, starting a new project, uh, starting a new creative project, having a baby, uh, anything that's creative, this is a really good sign that things, the energy is, is really great for that right now in your life. And there's a sense of abundance in your life. And if you're, um, with the change of seasons, like here in the Northern Hemisphere, it's turning to spring, and in the Southern, it's turning to fall, there's sort of an embracing of that energy and a feeling of like there's, you know, a new start and that there's possibilities ahead for you. For Pisces, we have death. So Pisces, this is a week of letting go. This is a week of um, mourning any losses that have come your way over the past while. It's a week of looking at what needs to die so you can move forward. But it's a week of transition and transition isn't always easy. So we need to be nice to ourselves and not hard on ourselves. Um, again, it's kind of with like the card for Aries, the hangman. Sometimes we feel like we need to immediately start something else when something has ended and it doesn't always honor that we need to have time to transition and to mourn things so make sure you give time for yourself this week Pisces so it's kind of an interesting week for some signs it's like a very like positive um, outgoing kind of week with lots of energy and for others it's a letting go week so depending what sign you are and what your mix of signs are it may be one more than the other um, this particular week for our um, Oracle card we have confrontation pick your battles wisely and i think this goes for both the, the signs that had kind of the more optimistic cards and others that were a little more challenging for those of you that kind of got the more challenging cards that said you know this isn't uh, a week to make any big decisions like aries or scorpio it's saying to pick your battles so like maybe something isn't um, a huge deal maybe you need to step back a bit and think about it before you run in and make any kind of decisions and for those where it was like talking about um you know, being being a little more proactive um, and that there was, you know, a lot of creative energy around. Again, we may have to discern what needs our energy right now and what doesn't, what the priority is and what isn't a priority. So it's really about discerning this week when I see this card, what uh, what our battles are, and not necessarily negative battles, but where we need to put our energy this week. Really think about that, what your priorities are. So that's what I'm seeing for this week. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please put in the comment box below. Peace, love, and rock and roll. I love you all. I will talk to you later. Bye.